The NBA and the Memphis Grizzlies organization have responded swiftly and decisively to the incidents involving Ja Morant by imposing suspensions and conducting thorough investigations. Ja Morant, the electrifying star of the Memphis Grizzlies, has once again found himself at the center of controversy, leading to his suspension from all team activities. In a shocking turn of events, Morant displayed what appeared to be a handgun in a recent social media live stream. This incident comes just over two months after he faced a similar situation when he exhibited a gun in an Instagram Live video recorded at a nightclub in Denver, resulting in an eight-game suspension imposed by the NBA for conduct detrimental to the league. The latest video in question depicts Morant and a friend enjoying the music of rap artist NBA Youngboy while inside a car. As the camera pans toward Morant, he is seen holding a gun next to his head before quickly diverting the camera's attention elsewhere, creating a disturbing image that has sparked outrage and concern. The Grizzlies wasted no time in announcing Morant's suspension and issued a statement indicating that the organization would refrain from making further comments at this time. NBA spokesman Mike Bass echoed these sentiments, stating that the league was aware of the social media post involving Morant and was currently gathering more information. As a result of his actions, Morant now faces the possibility of additional suspensions or fines from the league. This recent video emerges after the Grizzlies' disappointing exit from the NBA playoffs, where they fell in six games to the Los Angeles Lakers in the first round. The team, which entered the playoffs as the Western Conference's second seed, encountered a series of setbacks, including injuries to key players Steven Adams and Brandon Clark, as well as the disruptive consequences of Morant's previous suspension in March contributed to the upset. I've just got to do better with my decision making, Morant acknowledged after the Grizzlies were eliminated. That's pretty much it. Off the court issues affected us as an organization, pretty much. Just need more discipline. During the series, which also featured extensive trash-talking by Dylan Brooks to LeBron James, Grizzlies coach Taylor Jenkins said his team was far from where we need to be from a maturity standpoint. Then, during end-of-season interviews, Grizzlies general manager Zach Kleiman said his organization was planning to take a different approach in its preparations for next season after weathering some self-created distractions. Jenkins added that some things have to change, and the Grizzlies needed to walk the walk rather than talk the talk. In early March, a live stream on Instagram showed Morant at the Denver area nightclub after a Grizzlies loss, dancing and then briefly holding up a gun for the camera in the video that was clipped and shared on other social media platforms. Morant, 23, was suspended for eight games without pay for the incident and enrolled in a counseling program but was not charged with a crime after a police investigation. Conducting its own investigation, the NBA could not determine whether the gun belonged to Morant or whether he brought it into the club. He told police the gun was not his, but he has acknowledged in court filings owning at least one firearm. Before he returned to the court, Morant met with NBA Commissioner Adam Silver and NBA PA Executive Director Tamika Tremagulo to discuss the video. Silver deemed Morant's behavior in the first video to be irresponsible, reckless, and potentially dangerous. As he prepared to return from the suspension, Morant said he was in a better place mentally and committed to being a better me following a stint in a Florida counseling center. Morant sought counseling, he told reporters, to help manage his stress, and he believed his stress level had been becoming a problem before the nightclub incident. I had considered seeking help, but I was back and forth, he said. I was pretty much afraid to leave the team. I felt that it was needed, and it helped me out a lot. Before returning to the court, Morant denied having an alcohol problem said his stress management was an ongoing process and acknowledged attending less than two weeks of counseling doesn't mean I'm completely better. Major sponsors stood by Morant after the first incident as Nike proceeded to release the first edition of his signature sneaker. However, Morant's first suspension cost him more than $668,000 in lost salary.
and he missed out on approximately $39 million in additional salary because he wasn't named to an All-NBA team this season. Last summer, Morant signed a designated rookie max extension worth $192.2 million over five years, a number that could have increased to $231.4 million, taking up 30% of the Grizzlies' salary cap. Over the life of the deal, had Morant made All-NBA for a second consecutive season. Morant, who averaged 26.2 points, 5.9 rebounds, and 8.1 assists while earning his second career All-Star nod, wound up getting only 10 second-team votes and 14 third-team votes, not enough to make any of the three All-NBA teams. The first video featuring Morant showing a gun came on the heels of a Washington Post story that detailed two incidents last year in which he and his friends were accused of violent and threatening behavior, including an allegation Morant flashed a gun at a teenager after a fight at his Memphis home. In the first incident, described in a police report obtained by the Post, Morant and several friends arrived at a Memphis mall after his mother had a dispute with an employee at a finish line shoe store, according to the mall's security director, who described the events to the police. The dispute spilled into the parking lot, the security officer said, where someone in Morant's group pushed the officer. No arrests were made, and no one was charged with a crime. But four days later, Morant got into another altercation, this time with a teenager. Morant told police that the teenager, a local high school player, threw a ball at his head during a pickup basketball game. So he punched the boy in self-defense. In transcripts of police interviews, the boy told police that after the fight, he was escorted off the property. Morant went into his home and emerged with a gun in the waistband of his pants, though he did not pull it. The teenager involved in the pickup game dispute filed a lawsuit against Morant in January, and Morant countersued the teenager for slander, assault, and battery in April. The Athletic reported this year that members of the Indiana Pacers organization believed someone riding in a car with Morant had trained a gun on them, saying they saw a laser beam pointing from the car following a game. The NBA looked into that incident and said in a statement that the investigation did not corroborate that any individual threatened others with a weapon. It is unfortunate that John Morant has found himself involved in multiple incidents that have raised concerns and brought negative attention. These incidents highlight the importance of making responsible choices and considering the potential consequences of one's actions, especially for public figures like professional athletes. It is crucial for Morant to learn from these experiences and make a conscious effort to avoid similar situations in the future. By reflecting on his actions and taking steps towards personal growth, Morant can strive to become a more responsible and mature individual both on and off the basketball court.